I confronted my husband with the evidence from the detective agency. He admitted, Roy, we're having an affair, and I'm crazy about her. I'm going to be with her, and you're going to leave. Are you sure about that? I don't care what will happen. My name is Amy. I'm a 37 year old office worker. I live with my husband, Ted, and our five year old daughter, Katie. We're pretty close and make up for each other's deficiencies, and for the time being, we're happy as a family. My husband is a good cook and always makes dinner for us. I work a lot of overtime and come home late, so I'm grateful that my husband is able to take care of the housework. Then one day, my husband unexpectedly injured his ligament. The cause of the injury was that he was playing basketball for the first time in a while when he went out with his friends on a day off and forced himself to shoot the ball. My husband is five years younger than me, but he's already 32 years old. No matter how much he used to be a good basketball player, he had hardly done any exercise since he started working. Why would he do something reckless like this without thinking about it? He has a job and a kid, and he's not careful at all. When we were dating, his recklessness felt new and fresh to me. But now, it just plays as a negative factor. In fact, my husband has been hospitalized as a result of this injury, which means that he has to take time off work. And I would have to take care of the housework and the child. On top of that, he got hurt playing basketball on his day off. It wasn't even in a basketball court. His injury happened at a facility for various sports and games. The company would be appalled to find out about it. They might even fire him in the worst case scenario. My husband is just too stupid and lame. This time, I was really angry with him. I was disillusioned by it. I've said it many times, but he has no responsibility as an adult. According to the doctor's diagnosis, he needs to stay in the hospital for about two weeks. I brought him a change of clothes, a phone charger, and the basic necessities. Oh, thank you, Amy! I was disgusted by my husband's reaction alone. Why are you so cheerful? Normally, you would be more depressed. Well, what can I do? I didn't mean to get hurt. Besides, I'll use my paid vacation days, so it'll be okay. What do you mean it'll be okay? If it wasn't for your injury, you could have used your paid time off more effectively. Like for a daughter's kindergarten event or a family trip. That's what the paid vacation days are for. Besides, since you can't come to work, your co workers and bosses are going to have to take on more work. As for our daughter, I'm glad my mom agreed to come home and take care of her this time. But if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have been able to work overtime at all, and I would have troubled people at my work. You should be aware of the problems you're causing to everyone. I guess I was really angry after all. These complaints came out so easily from my mouth. My husband seemed to feel bad about it and said, I'm sorry. Well, maybe I went a little overboard myself. At any rate, get better as soon as you can. I said that and I left the hospital room. With or without my husband, my work is very busy. So I was going to ask my mother to take care of my daughter a little longer, but when my boss and co workers found out my husband was in the hospital, they told me I didn't have to work overtime. 
Thanks to them, I was able to leave work on time. I could come home early, cook dinner, and have time to eat dinner with my daughter. I didn't have to rely on my mother too much either, so I really appreciate the kindness of the people at work. About a week after my husband was hospitalized, I met up with my mother and daughter after work and went to visit my husband. When we arrived at his hospital room, I heard him laughing happily and the woman's voice. Oh my god, Ted! Who could it be? I wonder if she was my husband's colleague or junior colleague at work. When we entered the hospital room, there was a nurse there. She looked young, maybe in her early 20s, slim and quite beautiful. Oh, there's your wife and your lovely daughter. Well, I'll leave you all. The nurse said hello, gave us a quick bow, and left the room. While I'm busy with everything, you're chatting with a beautiful nurse so carelessly? My husband must have noticed my cold stare because he clearly seemed nervous. Hey, thank you all for coming. But thanks to my daughter, my husband didn't have to be scolded by me. Hey, Dad! My daughter was hugging him, looking very happy to see him for the first time in a week. Katie, I missed you so much. Is your leg okay? Now that you're here, Katie, it's going to be fine. So, you be home soon? Yes, I will. Yay! Yay! Since my daughter seemed to be happy, I decided to leave the scolding to my husband. After our visit, my mother blurted it out to me. That young nurse was calling his name in such a friendly way. That's right. Now that she reminded me, it sounded even intimate. But I could not imagine that my husband would have the nerves to do anything with a beautiful young nurse. Well, I mean, she wouldn't even care about him. But it sure wasn't completely out of the question. They say nurses don't get to meet many men. Maybe she's quite a predator. And finally, two weeks after my husband's injury, he was discharged from the hospital. On the day he was discharged, I went to his hospital room and he was talking happily with that beautiful nurse again. And in the car on the way home, he looked so bored. I would think that he would be happy to get out of the hospital. I thought this was suspicious. So I decided to hire a detective agency to look into it. The evidence of the affair between my husband and the beautiful nurse came out immediately. After he was discharged from the hospital, he went to the hospital after work because he had to go to rehabilitation. But in fact, that was not the case. His leg was already healed, so he lied about the rehabilitation and went to the nurse's house. I couldn't believe it. How on the earth would my husband have an affair with that beautiful nurse? Do beautiful nurses have a weird taste? I confronted my husband with the evidence from the detective agency. And he said, Yes, I'm having an affair. I'm crazy about her. I'm going to be with her. And you're going to leave. I really don't care what will happen. I don't care what happens. I'm in love with her. Okay, do what you want. This is ridiculous. I packed my bags, took my daughter, and went home to my parents. When I explained to my mother what had happened, she was furious. 
I knew it was suspicious. You're very sharp, mother. After that, I divorced my husband through a lawyer. I demanded alimony and my share of the property. We had a bit of dispute over the property division, but I managed to get what I wanted and received the money I deserved. With this, I thought I was completely disconnected from my husband and I could start a new life with my daughter. However, as my new life started, I received a number of calls from an unknown number. At first, I ignored the calls, but they were so persistent that I decided to answer. Hello? Finally, she picks up! Hey, you, what's going on? Well, who is this? I'm Anna, Ted's new wife. Oh, the adulterous partner. Well, so I'm the wife. What the hell do you want? You demanded an unbelievable amount of alimony and property division from my husband. No, I had a lawyer come up with a fair amount. Then why does he have to sell the house to pay for it? That's because his salary is low. Huh? How can it be low if he works for a foreign invested company? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm the one working for a foreign invested company, not him. What do you mean? I'm sure my husband lied to you to look good. Because I complain to him sometimes about the nature of my job and the problems I've been having. So I'm sure he was able to incorporate this into his conversations with you. My husband is a regular employee of a small company. His salary is quite low, about half of what I make. Oh no, that's a scam! I approached him because he said he worked for a foreign invested company and owned the house in his name. The house is in our joint name, and by the way, I made a down payment. So if my husband continues to live in that house after the divorce, He'll have to pay me half of the house's appraised value. Oh no! He's not handsome and doesn't even have the money. There's nothing attractive about him. Well, I guess not attractive enough to have an affair with. He was a good dad though. I don't care if he's good with kids. I got cheated on. I'm sorry to hear that. But you better pay your alimony too. Otherwise, I'll go right out. After that, I got a call from my ex husband protesting. Apparently, he was dumped by his adulterous partner. Just before they were about to get married, she ran away. But he was the one who tried to seduce a beautiful nurse by lying to her and trying to look good to begin with, so it's his fault. I told him that if he has a problem, try to earn as much as I do first. Then I hung up the phone. Since then, I see my ex husband only when my daughter wants to see him. He whines every time he sees me. I heard that his injury from playing caused a lot of trouble for people at his work. His boss hates him for that, and he's never going to get promoted in the future. He really deserves it. I, on the other hand, am back at home and working hard while my parents support me in raising my child. This allows me to have money from my daughter's education and I'm able to take weekend trips with my family. I was worried that the divorce might have a negative impact on my daughter, but she still smiles sweetly as ever. I will continue to work hard to keep her smile. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you like. See you in the next video.